All right, welcome back, everybody. We are going to attempt to make our background drawing here. And I'm going to base it off the thumbnail I did in the last video. So let me try and recreate what I had there in this setup, at least. So I had the horizon line towards the top third. So there we go, horizon line. And then I had the vanishing point somewhere over to the uh, right side a little bit. So let's kind of get it there. Let's see, does that give me enough room for those buildings here? I think so. Yeah, we'll go with it there. Eh, maybe it was a little over. <laughs> I don't even move it that much, let's see. Making minor adjustments. I know it probably doesn't matter that much. But I'm just trying to make sure I have enough angle for the building here. So yeah, let's go with it there. Okay, so let's get the setup going here. So first thing I need to do is start roughing in some of these buildings. And I want to start with the ground, where they line up on the ground. It's very important, I think, to keep everything like oriented in the same plane, you know, like, so the ground is all I have to go on here. So a lot of times you'll see people draw like a bunch of lines and give themselves like a plane, you know, a flat plane surface to work on. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a line there. I think, yeah, I might have the buildings a little over more in the picture. And I, the reason I'm, you know, I guess, I guess I find that it's best to trust your original thumbnail more than to veer from it right away, at least initially kind of trust it, usually ends up working out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the first building roughed, and I have the first close-up building on the left side kind of um, um, higher than uh, humans' uh, eye, right, because the door is a little smaller. And it's going a little bit above the horizon line. So let me kind of see. I have it pretty far over, actually. After uh, messing with the framing. Let's... Triangle's catching on the edge of the page. Okay. Somewhere there-ish. And I do feel like I had it maybe a little bit higher. So I'm going to raise that line a little bit. And again, just kind of trying to trust my instincts a little. So I'm just going to raise it a little. And there's a lot of uh, extra lines in perspective that you got to get rid of. And especially when you move your line a bunch initially. But for example, I'm going to cover up the horizon line in a second here, and then all that's going to be gone. Okay, so there's my one building. Let's see how deep it's going to be. I think, I think that's going to be good. Okay, so straight across, let's just do that. And again, I'm gonna turn my paper a lot. So, yeah, if I do the same, just whatever is easy. Easy in terms of um, your drawing, you know? Okay, got another eraser here. Let me knock back that horizon line. Oh, as I knock back the horizon line, I mark my paper in another way. Okay, so let's keep going. Don't want to uh, add too much detail initially. And this is um, always something I advise. That is to get the 
try, try to draw the whole thing evenly at the same level of completeness. That way you're free to move things, you know, like if I draw too much detail on this front building and then I find out the placement's wrong, um, I'm not going to want to move it. I'm just going to, because it's, you know, I already spent too much time on it and you want to have freedom to make adjustments, you know, as you go. So I want to make sure everything's kind of roughly in place. Okay. So, um, let's get this built in here. And I'm going to have a dome on the top of this building, which is kind of uh, the style here in this. So let me let me kind of rough it out here. And because I can't see the uh, tops of these buildings, um, I really don't need to, you know, be super precise with it or anything. But, well, if I did want to see the top of the building, let's say, because I'm going to put another square, another you know, structure on the top of this one. So it can look a little odd if you don't work things out. Uh, so let me, let me just show you how I would kind of work it out. And it's not going to be too in depth here, but uh, I want to draw the ceiling. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and give myself a little line there. This is a see-through box. So I just made a see-through box. Oh, look at this. I forgot the corner right there. Let me get that. Okay, and the reason I drew that is because I've got another kind of a rectangular shape on the top. And I, I want to know where it is. So like, okay, so here's going to be, I'm going to decide how far back it is because it's set back a little bit. So let's say that's the corner. So from there, it's going to go up. Okay, I didn't need to draw that part down there. But what I what I want though from that point is let's say I go here and I make a line and I can determine where it goes up on the other on this side on the back of it that I can't see. So about there, I want to make sure you know it's the same distance from that this front edge here. But I also want to make sure that it doesn't go outside the box because that'll look weird. And if I make the line too far back, something will just look off. And that's the sort of thing that um, separates, you know, I guess amateur drawings from better drawings. <laughs> I don't know. But it's just making sure those relationships are consistent. And, you know, it's when things look off to us. So we're, maybe we're not even aware exactly of why, but it just looks bad. And it'll be like, oh, it's, a, you know, you'll just be a little more amateur of a drawing that, like, isn't quite right. Okay, so there's the start of my top cube. And I'm going to make it a little lower than I have in my thumbnail. So I can see the dome a little bit more. And... So the uh, back of this building, I, I didn't, I di you can't see it. So really it's whatever I want in terms of how far I want this edge to go here. So let's go there. And I have it going off the page, but I'm not sure I want it that high. And that's actually too close, I think, to the edge. Just for a round dome to fit in this circle. So I, I do want to keep that in mind. So, you know, you could do the see-through box. Maybe I'll kind of ru loosely rough it out and imagine where my dome would be. And see, I was drawing it way too big. The dome would have to only be like, you know, something like that to fit. And let's see, this one might be a little smaller as well. Or else, uh, you know, a circle just would not fit because it doesn't go to the corners. And, you know, if you remember our, uh, tutorial on circles and cylinders. So there, I did actually loosely roughen it out there just so I have an idea of where it would be. And I can go ahead and erase it. And I do kind of tend to erase as I go quite a bit, just because there's so many lines sometimes in perspective that if I can get rid of some of them, you know, now just kind of helps for later. Okay. 
So uh, moving along here, now I've got this um, wall back here with these alcoves in it, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and kind of start on the buildings on this side first. So I'm gonna get myself a line. So I'm just kind of looking at the corner and how much is there. Okay, something like that. And then this building um, also is um, closer to the frame, to the viewer, whoever's looking here. So it's gonna appear bigger, right, in our um, frame if it's closer to us, as everything in perspective or in real life looks bigger when it's closer to our eyes. Okay, and there's the corner. Then I have to decide how deep it is. And it's not too big of a building. So it didn't actually go too deep here. Okay. And then once again, it's a little bit above our horizon line. Let's see here. And the relationship between this building and the building across from it. So if I work a, a line straight across, this is like the edge. So this, so straight across from this corner would be the same um, distance from the camera or the viewer, which means this building is, is a little taller than this building over here, but that's okay. It is, this uh, city is supposed to be very uh, um, haphazard. You know, it's like not everything was, it's not on like some neighborhood plan, you know, or some, uh, tracked home. It's, uh, everything's kind of supposed to look like it's maybe individually made, you know? Okay. So the corner of this next building here and it as well goes a bit above our horizon line. So now I have to decide if I want to make it higher and in my drawing, it looks about the same size. So I'll just go ahead and make it around the same size as the building closer to us. And it's gonna have a dome on it as well. Let's see, let's go ahead and bring this down. And just thinking about my space, so if I go straight across from there, it's like about as that, you know, it's that high compared to this building. Oops, went too far. Okay, I'm trying to knock back some of those marks here. And, and gosh, the whole horizon line is going to be gone. <laughs> and I mean, I knew that going in, but usually, I'd, again, I draw on a lighter pencil when uh, doing this. And the dark one, the darker blues for the camera. Okay, and then I'm missing the top here of this one. So, okay, now what do I have going on here? I've got a dome. So once again, making sure it's set back a bit because imagining where my circle hits the edge or would hit the edge. And uh, yeah, it just needs to be set back a bit. And then this one here, let's take this one again. Let's give it a something on top just to kind of help frame this picture. So I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do another dome or another tier. I just wanna have some kind of rectangular object up there or something, some kind of, I don't know. It'll be something. Okay, and I've got my buildings kind of basically placed. Let's get this wall back there and it's a little bit set back from this building. So I'm gonna turn my page here just so I can see my edge very clearly and line it up, set it back a little. Go across and while I'm here, might as well take it across on the top as well. That's pretty high. I don't think I want it to go quite that high. I don't want it to go above this building right there. So I'm gonna move it down a little. Okay, 
Okay. And then it's got, uh, I, I put two alcoves here. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of rough them in here. Okay, just roughing them in. I'm not getting too crazy. Um, I do want to make sure the same height though. So let's let's see. Okay, gives me an idea. Um, again, just kind of working things out. Let's see. So all this would be gone. There's my holes in the wall. They're going to have some thickness to it. And then I'm going to want to do some buildings kind of far back and kind of insinuate that things keep going. Like another building here, maybe. And then I'll kind of insinuate some other ones. Okay. So, yeah, let's uh, keep adding to our structure. So, again, trying to keep everything at the same level of completeness. So, I think I've kind of achieved that with these four buildings. Uh, I think I should get some buildings back. So, you know, I am actually, I think, going to go ahead and draw these alcoves a little more carefully now. I could have just done this from the get-go, I guess. But the, the thing I'm gonna do is measure them just so they're even. So obviously yours will be probably different than mine. Okay, so those are my spaces. And I have a height there. And I'm not going to sweat it too much in terms of making like a square and then fitting a circle in a square and all that. I don't, I don't think I really need to. Um, I can just kind of rough it. And it's supposed to be kind of a rough textured environment. So I'm not super concerned if it looks a little rough. Okay. But I do want to give this wall a little thickness. So I'm going to go ahead and draw these corners going to the vanishing point. I would only see these two, obviously. Oh, no, I'd see this one as well. because the vanishing point's there. So this corner would be seen. Okay. And it, it kind of lined up exactly even with the top of this arch. So that means it would flatten out up here like that. So my camera's even with the arch. This one, something like that. Then I wouldn't see the inside there. Okay, and it looks three-dimensional at least now. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a building kind of over here. Let's see. And so so here's the thing that's going to help is consistency with my heights of my building. So this one you wouldn't really see. So it would have to be a taller building to see it. So I guess I could make a, a smaller building there and just maybe we'd see the dome peeking out. You know, and then maybe back here. There's a further away, taller building. Let's do something kind of further. And, and this is going to have very little detail in the final drawing. So as things get further away from us, um, you can see less detail. So, you know. Okay, so something back there. Maybe over here there's a taller building right there. So once again, I'm going to kind of, and you can see I'm getting kind of looser here with my, with my perspective and my structure. I'm just kind of roughing it in here, but I'm keeping all that stuff in mind. And I am, you know, this is further away and kind of get away with a little more. Okay. So there's a little building over there. Maybe over here, there's another building. And let's see, let's see what a skyline might look like. Maybe there's like a rounded kind of dome shaped building over there. Maybe there's a building right in front of the uh, vanishing point there. There's some dome silo off to it. It's a pretty, flat city right in the desert 
And maybe in the distance there's some far away mountains. Maybe far away. All right, give it a nice sense of uh, complete environment there. And yeah, there'll probably be some antennas sticking up. And let's see. Yeah, I think we're onto something here. Maybe the dual sons of Tatooine kind of, uh, you know, up in the corner there. Okay. And I think I've got my basic structures down. Uh, let's go ahead and add uh, a couple more basics, I guess. And then we'll uh, get to details. So in this building, let's see. So a person, I gotta establish a height. So a door's gonna be about that big. Okay, so I want to set out a little alcove here. I like to walk in. Alcove, I don't know if that's the right word. I want to add a box. <laughs> let's say that. I want to add a box to my box. So I'm gonna build out a little, like a walkway? I don't know, something to, to walk into. I don't know what that's called. Maybe alcove was correct. I'll never know. Um, now, I, now I have to decide if I wanna make it in the center or not, or how I wanna situate it in this building. I think I want to not worry about that. So I'm gonna purposely move it off to the side. So let's bring it off to the side here. And again, I'm just making a box and, and it's kind of see-through right now. I'm uh, And you know what? I'm gonna use this little line I already drew. There we go. And again, I'm attaching it to this box from this corner that we can't see, okay? And I find that super important because it helps keep things together and oriented to each other. Okay, so here's the corner of the box going up. Of course, now all this is gonna disappear. And let's go ahead and take this corner up as well. And this corner up as well. Okay, and maybe I'll make this, well, it's gotta fit a person, but that's pretty low. So yeah, I can I can fit it. I can attach it here where I would see the top. That's getting very thin because in terms of the top because it is um, getting very close to the horizon line. Right, and the closer we get to that horizon line, the uh, thinner it's going to be. But I know this goes back, and I know it would attach here. But let's say I want to attach it at an angle, like I want a little slope or something. Um, do I want a slope? You know, maybe I want to round it out. Maybe it's a rounded alcove. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's make it like a, a rounded thing. So um, all I'm going to do here is I got to make it a little higher, I think, to do the rounded. I think that'll look good. Okay, but I like that I have this line anyways, because that's gonna tell me where to curve it, okay? So now I'm gonna do an X. I already kind of curved it, but hopefully we're not losing sight of what's going on here. I'm gonna do an X. I know it's starting to get a lot of lines, but welcome to perspective. Okay, so that's the middle. I'm gonna go straight up from there so I know where my arch is supposed to hit. Okay, and that should be where my curve would hit the top. We'll come around. Okay, and this is gonna go straight across. And I'm just gonna, now I could do the same thing here and do a see-through box, but I don't think I need to, not for what we're doing, not for concept art. So I'm just gonna kind of mirror that curve there and I should be fine. And then all those lines go away. You know, I've got a little kind of thing attached to this building, kind of help um, make things look different. And yeah, okay. So this is my uh, basic structure. 
and I've got everything kind of set up. Now I can start kind of tweaking things, adding some details, adding some stuff. But I at least want to have everything kind of set now that I know where everything's going to be. I know where it's going to fit and I'm ready to go. OK, so we will continue this on the next video and start adding some details.